Hey everyone, this is Gabrielle from Teaching Special Thinkers, and this is a follow-up video to um, my how to collect data using Google Drive. Um, so this is the ABC charting form that I created, and let's just say hypothetically you've had a bunch of people respond, and you kind of want to look at what data you've collected. Um, so you're going to click here on responses. After you go into the chart that's on your drive, you're going to go to responses. And what you're going to see is a summary page. Now this might be all the information you want to see. Um, it might not be. So I'll go into how to get it from an Excel sheet as well. Um, but this is under responses and then summary. So you can scroll down. You'll see the dates, um, the times. So this is a great way to see what times the behavior is occurring. Um, the duration and what it does is if it's counted more than once it just kind of highlights that and then it starts to starts a count so this one the duration of the behavior was seven minutes twice so instead of saying seven seven it just did it twice and put a two um, so this is the great kind of um, data that I like to see from this so we have morning work, circle time reading group is really mainly where the behavior is occurring. And then it gives you percentages. So 50% of the time it's doing reading, 33.3% circle time. Now try not to pay too much attention to the, the percentages for this video because this is just data I quickly made up and I only have secret responses. I just wanted to show you how you can see it. Um, so what you could do is you could easily print this sheet off um, and put it in the student's data binder or go over it at an IP meeting. Um, and it does the same for all the questions. Now if you want to v review a specific response, um, you could go to individual and it's going to go through all the different responses so you can, you know, if you have a question about um, the 16th, what occurred on the 16th and you want to see more detail about it, you can go to individual and then go over to see down here, this was the one that was taken on the 16th, and you can read through it. Um, now, if you want this in an Excel sheet, you can do that. So you're going to click up here, and it says View Responses in Sheets. So click that, and then it's nice and pretty in Sheets. Um, now, this is Google Sheets. If you wanted to save it as an Excel, you could do that. Um, and then down here at the bottom right, you'll see this Explore Your Data, and that is going to show you lots of pretty graphs, which I know a lot of you are interested in. Um, so, if you have any other questions about this, please shoot me a message or an email and I'll try to make another video, um, but it's pretty simple as you can see. Um, once again, this is Gabrielle and I'm from teachingspecialthinkers.com. Thank you.